Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about Nikola Jokic and his decision on not to play for the national team at the Eurobasket 2017. So as many of you know, Nikola Jokic had a great season last year at Denver. Halfway through the season he started playing games from the start, he was a starter, and in this season he averaged 27.9 minutes per game with 16.7 points. 57.8 uh, field goal percentage with 32.4 three-point percentage shooting, 9.8 rebounds, 4.9 assists, and 0 0.8 steals and blocks, which is some awesome statistics right there. Also, he had six triple-doubles. The only players that had more triple-doubles were James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and LeBron James. So after this breakout season, everyone wanted our best player to play on our national team. Jokic decided not to do that and to focus on his individual training this summer and preparation for next year. So a lot of Serbian media and a lot of Serbians uh, here are really mad at him because he didn't want to play for the national team this year and a lot of them don't even want him on the team anymore like ever not next year at the next Olympic Games next World Cup nothing they don't want him on the team so I just wanted to share my thoughts on uh, whether his de decision was good or not so I feel like he should be able to make his own decision what's best for him individually and I feel like he made the right decision because Right now, he's on his rookie contract where he's making $1.4 million a year. It's his last season on his current contract. After that, he can sign a max contract, which is over 200 mil now for five years, which is just insane money for anybody in the NBA, let alone somebody that's from Serbia. So I feel like he should take one postseason off, work on his body, and then he'll still be able to play for another 10 years, even more than that. He's going to be able to play a lot of um, national team games. People are just mad because this year we're actually one of the favorites. But then again, last year for the Olympic Games, we didn't have some of our best players too, like Nemanja Bielica got injured for the Timberwolves and we didn't have him. For the Olympic Games, everybody was really, um, really sad about that. And then again, a very similar situation to this one was with Boban Marjanovic, who decided not to show up at the first training session of, of the year for the Olympic Games because he was sorting stuff out with the Detroit Pistons to sign a three-year, $21 million uh, contract. And then right after he signed it, he wanted to show up and play for Serbia at the Olympic Games. But our coach, uh, Sasha Georgi, said that that's not acceptable. If he wasn't there when everybody trained, he's not going to go and play. I feel like, and even this year, Boban Marjanovic is called upon. So Sasha Georgi wants him to play for the team. And I feel like he will, just because Nikola Jokic can't play. He might even be a starter for our team. And he is a really dominant player. Like he's seven three, huge hands, huge long arms. So I feel like we'll do just fine at the European Championship. Um, at the Olympic Games, we didn't have those two NBA players, two out of our three NBA players, and we managed to win the silver medal. So I feel like we're gonna be just fine. Nikolai Jokic is a great player. He had so many good moves this year but he's only going to improve, he's only going to get better and the one the one thing about his game that's not good enough yet is his athleticism and his strength it's just not there yet so I feel like it's great that the Denver Nuggets want him to to improve so he can be more dominant even and another thing that a lot of Serbians hated was so the strength coach of the Denver Nuggets and uh, their head coach went down to Sombor here in Serbia to watch Nikola train and stuff. And there's this 50 second video 
that they posted online of Yoki's training with this huge tire. He was flipping the tire over, he was jumping in it and out of it, and people just got mad and started saying all this BS about, oh, this, these Americans are stealing our guy, uh, he has no loyalty, he's only interested in money, blah, blah, blah. It's, I feel like it's just economics. If he signs this deal a year from now, a max contract deal, he's going to be set for life. Him and his family, his grandchildren, and it's just going to be awesome. We're looking at a guy that's going to be one of our best players of all time. Divots didn't even have stats like him at the end of his NBA career, and Jokic is just at the start of his. He's only 22 years old, and we're looking at a future all-star probably. And he's going to be their franchise player. So I feel like uh, the Denver Nuggets are going to build a team around Jokic. They already signed Paul Millsap. They have so many good young players. Murray is another one of them. So I feel like they will challenge for um, the playoffs this year. I'm not sure if they're going to make it. A lot of people are stacking um, the teams on the West. So I don't know if they're going to make it. But it's just a great... Thing for Jokic to work on his body for four months. That's just my opinion. I know most Serbians just hate that Jokic isn't playing, but I just wanted to share my thoughts. Thank you, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe down below. Um, also, like and comment, and um, I'm, I, I would love to hear your thoughts on whether he should play or, or not, or work on his body like I thought. Thank you, bye.